Let's talk weather again. Chief Meteorologist David Karn standing by. We've crested the hill for the midweek. Let's talk maybe about the weekend ahead, David. Uh, yeah, fantastic weather so far this week, Greg. It's been flawless getting outdoors and uh, just enjoying the heck out of it. Uh, far cry from where we were three years ago. Here are the seven tornadoes that moved through the Tennessee Valley. Uh, on Easter Sunday, we had the Chattooga Walker County tornado and EF2, 125 miles per hour. Murray County EF2, uh, DeKalb to Dade County, we had an EF1 moving through. Uh, the next one was Catoosa Hamilton Bradley County. Uh, that took the lives of three people. That was an EF3 with 145 mile per hour winds. Then Bradley County. EF2, Bradley County, EF1, and then Bradley to Polk County. Uh, we had that uh, EF1 with 105 miles per hour. This one in Murray County uh, took the lives of eight people and injured many, many more. So uh, fortunately, nothing on the horizon like that at all. April is, however, the time we see the most tornadoes. Uh, this is total tornadoes by month for East Tennessee, Southwest North Carolina, and Southwest Virginia. You see 134 in the past, uh, what, 150 years, 140 years. Years. And we changed that over to north and central Georgia in April. Again, by far the month that we uh, typically get the most tornadoes. So uh, let's just keep going through April quietly. Nobody say a word and we should be just fine. Scattered showers and thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday. Nothing severe though. Warm and dry Saturday, but then we're going to have more rain along with some cooler weather moving in on Sunday. Well, we are pretty mild right now. 60 in Chattanooga, 53 Cleveland though, a little bit cooler in Dalton, 53, 58 in Blue Ridge. And our radar and satellite showing the high pressure that we've been enjoying, uh, kind of backing out the side over there, going off to the east. That's allowing clouds to rise up into the Tennessee Valley with those clouds. We might get a couple of sprinkles. Wouldn't be surprised if we had one or two uh, moving into the morning hours, but for the most part, it's really going to be during the afternoon when we see these scattered showers beginning to work their way through. We may have a rumble of thunder, but you can see this is going to go on into Thursday evening and Thursday night, and then on and off through the day Friday as this trough of low pressure works its way northward. We'll have again areas of scattered showers and thunderstorms lifting up by Friday night. We're going to see everything moving off to the north and to the east, and that's going to set the stage for that dry air moving in on Saturday. We have a cold Cold front moving in. There are typically three noticeable parts to a cold front. First, believe it or not, is warm air ahead of the cold front. Southerly winds will bring in much warmer air, so we'll get into the low 80s on Saturday. The second part of the cold front system is this uh, rainfall as the cold air clashes with the warm air, creates rain, sometimes thunderstorms. We're going to see that moving through. It uh, looks like our timing is going to be a little bit later. Now it looks like maybe Sunday afternoon is going to start to see some of that rainfall moving through. And then Sunday evening, we'll see everything tapering off. Behind that is the third part of the cold front, which is the colder air. We'll go from 82 on Saturday to only about 70 for a high on Sunday and then absolutely beautiful weather on Monday. Also, your storm alert seven day forecast showing the low 70s over the next couple of days. So we have those clouds and scattered showers and thunderstorms and then moving into Saturday, Sunday warm. Here comes the rain. Here comes the cool. Then we'll stay nice and cool on Monday with a high of only 71 and then we come back down to earth 79 on Tuesday, 83 Wednesday and lots of sunshine for the first half of next week, Greg.